very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so actually I'm really excited to show you this message it's funny and it's actually representing the majority of people who are actually uh, criticizing our signals or actually attacking us um, uh, I just I have hidden his identity so I don't want anyone to know who is, who is he so it's gonna give him some privacy what <laughs> privacy uh, <laughs> as you can see here he said you both are waste of my time and my money I wish I never find you and I will make sure I will leave my happy feedback everywhere where I can and to make sure no other people will waste their money that was on 12.05 a.m. or oh, sorry p.m. 21.47 p.m. my apologize I messed up it was for someone else sorry <laughs> and I also deleted the comment so what happened here is actually he have made money so what happened really that day that he have actually made some losses on th on the first trade and later on when he started enjoying making money and profit from the signals he received he realized that he rushed in judging our service uh, that gives you a real picture of those who are attacking me or Angela um, you don't have to listen for them always please consider joining the signals or trying the free signals in the free group before you judging don't take anyone's word unless they have spent enough time in the group uh, for example these are the results that we have uh, on last uh, June 29 look at these profits I mean who would have complained about such good results I'm sure no one will complain about that especially um, with only 12 pips of loss for the AUD CHF then on 30 let's just go to the last day because I have already shown this in the live trading video and the last day we had only a small two losses 11 pips and 15 pips against euro and the 35 pips so it was not the perfect day however it was really a good day and again as I'm telling you please take the the views or the words from those who have spent with me or Angela at least one week with the service look at this guy here after one week of trading your signals I did a decent profit and more important I finished the week with no positions open so this is the feedback from someone who have spent one week with the signals take his words not the others who have failed or only one or two trades and they are judging us for one bad day that is not realistic and I am saying here in public we can never deliver profits every single day it's not gonna happen Forex is not like that my friends you can never have a profits every single day you always have to prepare for the bad days this gentleman here he have prepared for it and therefore he have ended the week with a profits again we are just a signals providers we don't do managing accounts we don't uh, tell you exactly what to do we are just telling you that you can open a position right here and you can expect the profits to be take profit to target one target two target three it's really up to you how to how you are handling these signals please be aware about this point because it's very important about how to use our signals and again thankfully we are having tons of happy messages from the members against that one uh, negative feedback so it was again a good week and thankfully uh, this guy here again 85% uh, win-win ratio uh, good job guys uh, please keep it up yes we will keep it up and thank you sir for your good and fe uh, good feedback we really appreciate it so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so now let's get started with the weekly analysis and I just wanted to say that I'm very proud of my analysis for the last week most of the signals have reached their take profit level for example pound USD it has act has been activated right on the right level on the support and the trade has went all the way uh, has and has reached the take profit level um, AUD USD reversed just like I think two pips Oh, what a bummer it reversed just two pips away from my entry and in general it has went in total of 152 pips of profit um, USD CAD I think it did not reach the entry level it was it has reversed just like 18 pips before ent the entry level Euro USD also reversed just uh, 13 pips before the entry level uh, USD GPY has also reversed inside the safe box or the safe zone so it was also a really a good and perfect signal we can see the reversal happened exactly like that I mean that's really great I mean I'm very proud of myself uh, seriously yeah look at that perfect 
and we can see that uh, in total the USD GPY is going in 15 pips of profit for those who have uh, entered the signal USD CHF has also reversed exactly at the level I have mentioned to start shorting the pair and right now it's running in 66, uh, 66 pips of profit now let's check the gold the gold signal was the best among all actually uh, look at that please I'm v guys I'm, I'm so proud of it I mean I wanted to show it come on give me a credit for that we can see that uh, the gold has been activated uh, exactly at the level I have given to start shorting the uh, sorry buying the gold 1764.89 and the pair has reversed exactly at that point it went up for almost 240 pips of profit then it was ranging inside the safe zone and it did not even exceed it that is also another point for me come on I deserve it and in general for those who have still the position opened and I doubt if there is anyone uh, the, the pair is running right now is almost 87 pips of profit I'm sure a lot of people who have uh, entered this trade they have uh, actually closed the trade in at least 200 pips of profit at that next resistance so it was really good uh, week for analysis now let's go to the current week what can we expect from the market this week okay now to understand how this market is going to move for this week we need first to understand what is happening to the US dollar the US dollar actually now is facing a lot of um, I would say like um, um, what is the word maybe confusion can be the one because actually what's, what's happening right now uh, the pandemic in the United States is actually getting worse from a public health perspective they are saying that it's really getting worse right now and we are losing again and we are going to have to cut back to the economy now um, what happened recently also in uh, the states of Texas uh, they have now forced all their citizens to wear the face masks masks to protect their uh, citizens from or to, to, to actually try to reduce the spread of the of the virus to the maximum that is not really a good sign meanwhile mr. Trump here he's trying his best uh, to reopen or to recover the recovery for the economy in the United States and they are trying uh, the whole government in the United States they are trying their best to say that there is nothing to be worried about we are uh, everything is under, under control uh, anyway uh, the facts says not it's not under control and especially that last week they announced that there is a possibility that 20 million Americans at least have been infected that is really scary so in my from my point of view uh, the dollar is gonna continue uh, the fall this week it's not gonna get any strength I don't think it's gonna uh, recover this week I think it's gonna uh, maintain or actually it's just gonna be on in its uh, weak condition so that leading us to know this for the euro USD what can we expect from the euro USD uh, let's go to the daily candles now for the euro USD we can notice that the pair has been in ranging mode and as I said that is because of the confusion about the uh, different statements between the US government and the healthcare system and the reality of course of what's happening in the United States um, according to many articles I have read uh, this is the reason why the pair has been ranging for this week and in my opinion uh, eventually the euro USD is gonna continue the rise and it's gonna hit that resistance level because the dollar is actually really weak for this uh, for these coming uh, days all right so now saying that where is the best place we can actually buy the pair the euro USD now from a technical view because now right now we are going to move to the technical uh, analysis from technical analysis what we can see right here is that the euro USD has reversed oh my god all right so we can see that the euro USD has reversed from that support level that was a key support level that key support level has kept its position as a key support level and right now currently the pair is ranging at that resistance we can already see here we had uh, a first attempt of the resistance that is resistance uh, resistance number one and from my opinion uh, the euro USD is gonna reverse on Monday opening at the resistance number two it's gonna retest the level of 1.1254 1 for one for one more time and then the pair is gonna continue the rise I believe the pair is gonna rise to at least hit that resistance level and 
if that happens, then we can expect uh, really good growth in the euro USD because in that case, we have here a resistance a trend line. That resistance, uh, if it's going to be breaking out from, we can expect for the pair to reverse at that resistance and the pair is going to continue the fall, reverse again at that support level right there and then continue growing all the way and sorry, continue the rise all the way until it hit that resistance level right there. So that means we can start actually buying the euro USD exactly at the level. Let me just uh, write it for you. Buy the euro USD at the level 1.12254 and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit that resistance level as I mentioned earlier. Now that's gonna give us at least 100, uh, 115 pips of profit and regarding your safe zone where you can keep the trade running and hopefully it's not going to reach that level I believe here is fair enough uh, 30 pips you can increase it also more just to be safe I just want everyone to be safe as uh, to the maximum yes that is fair enough like that for the euro USD and here is our shape that is the safe zone where you can my friends keep the trade running and you can close it in loss only if you see a bearish breakout candle actually breaks and closes below that safety zone I drawn for you. Um, the only way I can see that this uh, uh, the signal is gonna fail is if we see a real signal or a real sign from the United States that the pandemic has been uh, wiped or uh, reduced if the numbers of uh, cases or deaths have reduced uh, greatly then for sure I think yes we can expect for the pair to actually fall however with the current situation I only see it actually rising now let's move to the pound USD now for the pound USD let me delete this uh, other line now for the pound USD as you can see the pair is in really good bullish uh, momentum right now and after look at that what we had right here this is very interesting now I am on the daily candles and what we can see right here is a pin bar so there was a sign or an indicator from the sellers to trying to take over the market however from Friday the bulls have pushed the market up and the bears have failed or have lost the battle in my opinion that means that the, the, the pair is gonna continue the rise and we just want to know exactly where we can start buying the pair again so let's go back to the uh, to the four hour chart and let's look at the key support levels now let's move to the technical analysis after finishing the fundamentals now from a technical view what we can see right here my friends is a strong key support level as well and it was also a support right here and it was also again a support here then from that point the pound USD is gonna actually continue the rise so our good chance is to actually wait if we look here we can see that it's very similar to the euro USD we have right here a strong or not a strong we have here a resistance number one and we can expect for the pair to reverse at resistance number two and fall to the support level retesting the level of 1.24535 and then continue the rise therefore uh, let me tell you something honestly speaking I believe on Monday opening the pair will immediately start the rise it will immediately start rising and I think so However, I just want to make sure I'm giving a safe entry for everyone. Therefore, let's just wait for the pair to fall for another at least uh, 30 pips before we start buying it. So if we enter the buy order for the pound USD, we can start buying the pair at 1.24535 and keep the trade running all the way until the pair hit that resistance level. I think let's just be realistic. It's going to be right here that's fair enough I, f I think I forgot to write to type the the take profit on the euro USD, right I'm gonna do it later 1.26 uh, sorry 6317 is our take profit level and for the safe zone let me just be sure I'm giving you accurate level yeah, that is the, I'm looking right here actually guys the support level so if the pair did not reverse at that key support level we can expect for it to reverse at that support level and then it's gonna uh, fly up and we can expect the pair to go against us for only 40 pips I mean that's really fair that's really great I don't want to give like 60 or 70 or 80 pips uh, in, in loss before the pair be in profit 
I'm just doing my best here to help everyone. So that should be fine like that. And hopefully the signal is going to bring us a lot of profit. Now let's check the AUD USD. Now from, from a point of view now, uh, of a for, from a technical view, what we can see right here is the Euro USD, uh, sorry, the AUD USD is actually um, moving in this trend and it's a bullish trend of course and I think the pair is going to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level then at that level the euro is the boom it's gonna fall i don't think i don't think it's gonna continue the rise honestly speaking therefore um what we can do with the with the AUD USD, let me just uh, check the pair again let's just i think we can just buy the pair right there i don't think it's gonna be safe to give you the tech profit level at high level like that on that resistance so we just gonna stick to um uh, it's gonna be a short term signal just for like 40 pips so actually what i'm going to do uh let me just uh, confirm my friends uh actually the signal for the AUD USD, i don't think you're gonna like it i don't think you're gonna like it no i don't think so because um we're gonna wait for a long time for 25 pips to just uh, earn about 67 pips of profit however that is the signal what can i do nothing exactly like that so for the AUD USD, we can actually start buying the pair at the level 0 0.69102 and this is your safe zone as you can see and uh, let me just uh, draw the shape for you exactly like that ah uh, come on yep like that and okay hold on one second my friend okay good and we can expect the tech profit level to be only at that resistance level as 0.69774 yes it's a short term signal but however the profit is gonna be hopefully 70 pips of profit against a, post a potential a potential loss of 30 pips that's more than 120 uh, percent of uh, win to risk ratio uh, did i say it right what uh, I think wait wait uh, ho hold on sorry sorry it's a risk to risk to reward ratio <laughs> my apologize sorry okay so now let's move to the next signal USD CAD uh, let me just delete the other signal okay now for the USD CAD USD CAD right now is actually let's go to the daily candles we can see that the USD CAD is definitely going in a bearish momentum for this week uh, the pair has made already uh, two attempts to break out from that support level uh, let me just make it clear that is the support level and we can see that the pair has already made two attempts and has failed in breaking out of it and as we can see that uh, the retest has failed therefore we can start actually shorting the USD CAD at the level sell for the USD CAD at the level 1.36032 and our safe uh, zone is really easy to be found it's just gonna be at the top of that resistance that's oh my god no no way that's that's a lot let me just uh, rephrase it again just make sure go back to the four hour chart and let's just be sure uh let me just give a realistic uh, signal that is right exactly like that and that should be about yeah 50 pips that's fair enough i just relied actually on that resistance level and it has been followed later by this bearish breakout candle and I don't think the pair is going to be able to actually break out of that resistance actually to be honest with you frankly speaking I don't even think the USD CAD can reach that level of the sell I'm giving it's just giving it's just being given because it's a safety level and I don't want you to start short the pair right away because actually you might lose some money however we are just hoping for the pair to reverse at that support level again to create support here uh, retest the resistance on 1.36032 and then from that point it's gonna continue the fall therefore we can start shorting the USD CAD sell at 1.36032 and uh, let me just uh, draw the safe zone for you and here it is like that perfect and for the tech profit level it's gonna be exactly at the previous support level right there 
as you can see we had here, right here a previous support so that is gonna be our signal like that for the U for the USD CAD is gonna hit the, hit the resistance and fall all the way to hit that support level then from that point I think it's gonna reverse and retesting that broken resistance level there and then gonna continue the fall that might be updated on the midweek anal mid analysis video uh, let's just try uh, type for you the take profit level it's gonna be on 1.34692 so hopefully it's gonna be again a good signal and we're gonna make some good profits out of it let's right now check the USD JPY now for the USD JPY uh, if we go to the daily candles we can see again the pair has failed to exceed that resistance level we can see that th this resistance level both of them has kept the position again as a resistance the results that the pair right now is in a bearish momentum and what we can see here if we are gonna read the candles we can see that the bears have controlled the market on last uh, Wednesday and then sorry on Thursday uh, yeah Wednesday and then Thursday the bear, the bulls they tried to push the market and eventually uh, on Thursday and Friday they failed to actually exceed even the level of that red candle that tells us that looking here at the resistance level right there we can see that clearly that the bulls have failed to exceed that level and therefore we can expect for the USD GPY to continue the fall immediately therefore let's go now to the four hour charts <coughs> now from my point of view uh, USD GPY is gonna continue the fall right away immediately because it has reversed from that resistance let me see let me show you exactly there that is the resistance level as we can see my friends and even seeing that one bullish candle the breakout candle it failed also to maintain that uh, position and what we can see eventually that this resistance has kept its position as a resistance so what we can do with the USD GPY we can actually start short the pair right away so USD GPY sell now and let me write the level 107.55 that is exactly where we can start shorting the pair let me just see the safe zone exactly I'm gonna keep the same safe zone as the, the last week exactly like that I don't even think it's gonna reach that resistance level however I believe really it's gonna be a good signal and we can keep the position open until the pair hit this support level right here which was really a strong uh, support uh, key support level so we can expect to to earn at least 117 pips of profit from this signal of shorting the USD GPY. So, sorry, uh, the take profit level is going to be 106.385. Hopefully, again, it's going to be a good signal and we will make good profit out of it. Now, checking the USD CHF. USD CHF also seems like it's going to continue the fall. However, um, I don't think we can start shorting the pair right away. Uh, it's right now ranging at the support level and actually my nature is I really I'm really against uh, shorting on a support level or longing or place long level on a, a resistance so my only hope is waiting for a retest level of the resistance level right there and as you can see that previous resistance was also a support in the past so again we are right now on the daily candles let's move to the four hour chart and as you can see exactly we are expecting from the pair to reverse at that support level to rise for another 27 pips or 25 pips actually hit that resistance and then continue the fall so let's just uh, draw our safe zone like that I think we can extend it also yes definitely sure I just want to be sure everyone is there gonna gonna be safe and let's draw the shape right here that is your safe zone my friends and please please don't treat this one as a stop loss I'm telling you my friends please that one here is not a stop loss it's just uh, the border where you can actually or you have to uh, pay attention that you should close the trade with a loss only if you see a bullish breakout candle breaking out from that level and uh, most importantly is it closing as a bullish breakout candle so uh, short the USD CHF as 0.94677 and keep the trade running all the way until it hit that support level here which was really a strong key support level as well perfect so we can expect about 
93.92 pips of profit if it's gonna reach the take profit level on 0 0.93759 that's my signal for the USDCHF and hopefully it's gonna work now let's move to your favorite pair I'm sure which is the gold and let me just uh, get rid of all these uh, numbers I'm gonna keep the same take profit level because again my friends we are going to buy the gold this week as I said the dollar is weak and we we are sure that the gold is making a lot of uh, benefits from this uh, weakness of the dollar and I'm sure it's gonna continue the rise as well now it's the position the, the question is where we can start actually buying the pair that's a good question now gold actually my friends is right now ranging at the support level right there let me just draw it uh, in the best way possible and just like that let me go to the one hour chart just to be sure just being sure and as we can see the pair is right now ranging at that resist, uh, resistance I believe the gold is gonna fall again and it's gonna retest that support level right here and right here and right here and right here so as you can see the level 1765.94 was really a strong resistance in the past not to mention that there was a fake breakout from that level so indeed the gold really made one attempt and it was really strong attempt to break out of that level however the bulls have pushed the market up and the market indeed went up again um wiping out all of the efforts done by the bears to take the market down so the gold really i i don't see the gold is uh, falling at all only until it hit that support level and from that point we can start buying the gold again and that is gonna be our take profit level so that being said let me just draw for you the safe zone for the gold i think that should be fine yes we can ex even extend it more yes that's a relief for me actually yes even more actually yes like that and in this case let me just go to the weekly ah okay all right all right all right all right we can extend the take profit level oh shit eh. let me just do it again just be sure uh go back to the daily candles and take profit level is gonna be the same so the take profit level is gonna be about 300 pips of profit against this um the zone of 80 pips uh, which is going to be safe for buying the gold so the take profit is going to be the same let's go back to the four hour chart and insert shapes and that is going to be your safe zone my friends where you can keep the trade running and expect the gold to be ranging at that support level and we can start actually buy the gold at 1765.94 Please be careful my friends when you are trading the gold it's really sensitive nowadays and it's being affected by a lot of economic uh, occasions happening right now or economic uh, news uh, especially about the dollar and the oil um, please uh, it's really important what I'm saying right here is only a technical view or technical analysis you have to be careful and pay attention to the to the news and announcements so anyway um, I really hope it's gonna be a profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching